Thank you, graduates. Please be seated. Parents of graduates, family, friends, visitors, and guests, my name is Dr. Ken Vogel, and I'm the principal of Bandera High School. On behalf of the class of 2021, the BHS campus administration and faculty welcome you to the commencement exercises of Bandera High School at Bulldog Stadium. Before we begin, we would like to thank the many community volunteers and local business sponsors who helped, make us, who helped us make graduation possible. Specifically, we'd like to thank Hebner's Lumber Company, Hondo National Bank, BEC, and Shriner University for their donations. And I must salute, thank you. And I must salute the hardest working and most dedicated high school faculty and staff in the state of Texas for the work it took to bring back our graduation to Bulldog Stadium. To the teachers and staff of Bandera High School, we must say a Texas size thank you. We would also like to sincerely thank our BISD school board members, three of whom are seated on stage tonight, for without your work, devotion, and belief in public education and the children of this community, none of this would be possible. Please kindly stand when I call your name. Mrs. Brittany Hicks, President. Dr. Barbara Skipper, board member. Mr. Greg Butler, board member. Again, thank you, school board. I would also like to acknowledge Dr. Jerry Hollingsworth, the Bandera Independent School District, Superintendent of Schools. Thank you, Dr. Hollingsworth. Now please welcome senior Hallie Rios, who will give this evening's opening. Hello everyone, my name is Hallie Rios and I am ranked third in my class. As being ranked third in my class, I get the honor of doing the introduction for y'all. If I'm gonna be honest, I have no clue what to say. I've thought and contemplated for a long time Courtney told me to talk about my high school experiences. My dad told me to use my favorite Bible verse or quote the raven, but I promise I'm not gonna quote the raven. I prom uh, my mom told me to talk about the feelings circling inside about graduation, but none of those seemed to feel right to me. Then I realized that in this moment, nothing will be perfect. There is no way to describe the feelings inside of us at this time. There truly isn't anything perfect to say. The people in front of me are unique, special, and amazing in their own ways. I'm not going to try and leave a lasting impact or change your mind with a mind-blowing speech. Instead, I just want us to enjoy this moment with everyone we love around us one last time. Now, if you'd please bow your head in prayer with me. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for having us all here today, not in cars nor over the computer, but allowing us to gather in person for this momentous occasion. This year has been different and memorable, to say the least. But I thank you for guiding all of us to the stage, and I hope that you guide us through the next challenging, growing, and new chapter of our life. We are all aware that after this, life changes, and I ask that you guide each and every one of my classmates to follow the wonderful path you have planned for them. And if times are to get rough, which they will, that they fall back on your love. I thank you for the family members and friends that we have surrounding each one of us today. I thank you for the health, the food, and the shelter you have provided us also. Most of all, I pray that through life, you allow us to enjoy it, and that we all make the most of time we have here on this earth. We are all grateful for what you have given us. All the tears, the laughs, the friends, and the memories, we thank you for it all. Please continue to show us your love and guidance as we take the next steps in our journey. In your name we pray, amen. I would now like to introduce Cord Koenig, who will lead us in the national anthem and pledges of allegiance. Good evening, my name is Court Canning and I am ranked fourth in the senior class. I would like to kindly ask you 
to please stand and place your hand over your heart for the posting of the colors by the Bandera High School Navy, JROTC, as well as the singing and playing of the national anthem by the Bandera High School senior choir members and band. Please remain standing once they are done for the recitation of the United States Pledge of Allegiance and Texas Pledge. Now for the U.S. and Texas pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please be seated. Thank you again to the BHS Band, Choir, and Navy JROTC Color Guard for that wonderful rendition of the national anthem and posting of the colors. It is now my pleasure to ask Dr. Jerry Hollingsworth, the Bandera Independent School District Superintendent of Schools, to give the charge of the class. Thank you, Dr. Hollingsworth. Members of the Board of, Board of Trustees, distinguished faculty, graduates-to-be of the Bandera High School Class of 2021, ladies and gentlemen. Before I begin, I want to take an opportunity to say thank you to several groups and individuals. To the most amazing school board in Texas, in a year in which many districts waited weeks or even months to begin school, our board courageously supported us to begin and now end on time. Thank you. <laughs> to our BISD teachers and staff, their love and commitment to our students has been demonstrated as it never has before. They have been stretched to their limits. They have been innovative and flexible and supportive of kids, of one another, 
and of our school district. They have been committed to our vision. They're unbelievably talented, and we owe them tremendous gratitude. <laughs> to our BISD facilities services crew who made this amazing setup possible, give them a big round of applause. <laughs> and a special thank you tonight to Dr. Ken Vogel and the entire staff at Bandera High School for their work in making the grand return of our graduation ceremony to Bulldog Stadium. There is no event in the life of a school that is more gratifying than its commencement exercises. Tonight's celebration is certainly one that is worthy of our very best. Tonight, we gather to honor each of our graduates. Tonight, we gather to honor the work of our teachers and staff who have loved, challenged, encouraged, and coached these young people towards success and great accomplishment. As a school leader, I'm extraordinarily proud and excited to see each one of you reach your high school graduation. Individually, you have made it to one of the most significant milestones in your young life. As the class of 2021, you have raised the bar for all of the classes that will follow you. As a dad, I have to admit that there is a part of me that will certainly miss the days of childhood that have somehow whizzed by. There are sights and sounds that I remember vividly when my boys were small. I'm a, I miss hearing hands searching through large plastic tubs for the perfect Lego to add to yet another boy-created four-wheel drive Lego diesel. I miss the days when my own bulldog graduating senior Lane would build fantastic Rube Goldberg machines with Legos and marbles, tape, and yarn. As young or as three or four, he would take me by the hand and say in his uniquely deep voice for a little guy, Daddy, come see the contraption I made in my room. Yes, these are all things that, I, that we will miss, but there is so much that lies ahead. I once had the pleasure of hearing the executive director of the education division of the Gallup organization. He shared with a room full of principals and superintendents that the number one factor in the success of students in high school, in college, and beyond has nothing to do with family circumstances, with SAT scores, or with your GPA. The number one factor, one that is backed up by literally thousands of data points, the number one thing that influences student success is their sense of hope their belief that the best days are in front of them, not behind them, that there is so much to look forward to in a life filled with purpose. That revelation hit me like a ton of bricks. It meant that each day as educators, our charge is not only to help each student master the curriculum, reading, writing, mathematics, civics, and history, but even more importantly, our role is to help each and every student discover their God-given talents, to help them uncover their passions and gifts, to help each child chart a path filled with hope and promise, to fill our classrooms and hallways with possibility, options, and choices, to allow our students to picture a future that they could not have pictured on their own. Class of 2021, there is much reason for hope and great anticipation for your future. You are surrounded by a cheering crowd of teachers, staff, and school leaders who have seen you persevere, adapt, and grow through what is arguably the strangest year ever in school. You have been shaped, molded, and encouraged by an extraordinary community that loves education and supports our schools. Class of 2021, in a world that is concerned more with I and me and my, look for opportunities to serve and love your neighbors. In a world that often seeks the easiest and most convenient path, look for ways to challenge yourselves to do hard things and to grow from them. In a world that is steeped in negativity and cynicism, stand out with your positivity and optimism. Class of 2021, 
dream big dreams, learn a trade, join the armed forces, go to college, or take a job and do it with pride. Paint, write, and read, and play the guitar. Build homes and make contraptions. Craft things made of real wood. And more importantly, act and use the gifts you've been given. You are here tonight because you stand on the shoulders of great men and great women who have made your success possible. Tonight, you become alumni of Bandera High School. Tonight, you take on the mantle of marking out a straight, smooth path for your feet so that those who follow you will not hurt and fall and hurt themselves, but become strong. Class of 2021, I would stand on your shoulders any day. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Hollingsworth. It is now my pleasure to introduce a very special young man, the Bandera High School Class of 2021 valedictorian and the captain of the United States Academic Decathlon National Championship Team, Luke Bitsky. Good evening, Class of 2021. I stand here today as your valedictorian, but as Sir Isaac Newton once said, if I have seen further, it is because I have stood upon the shoulders of giants. Before I begin this evening, I would like to thank my parents for shaping me to become the man that I am today, my sister for always pushing me to possess a greater appreciation of others, my grandparents for providing an incomparable love, the rest of my family who has always been there for me, my teachers and mentors, who have instilled in me a passion for higher learning, and my good friends, who have been there in times of trouble and of success. Each and every one of you has been a giant upon which I have stood and given me the ability to stand here today as the Bandera High School Class of 2021 Valedictorian. Thank you. Class of 2021. I stand here today amongst our achievement. We stand here today amongst our achievement. In one hour or less, all of us will be given a diploma with each one having the same exact words inscribed upon its surface. Our diplomas, in all practicality, will be the same. And with them, we will be able to step away from this school, this school district, and this era of our lives, each possessing the chance to become something greater. Society defines greatness as being above average in all ways, being successful despite the normality that ranges around one. Society's version of greatness is the standard on which all of us, presumably, have viewed greatness for the last 18 or so years of our lives. This is how we see greatness, a quantifiable standard that all of us are encouraged to embrace. However, I digress. I am unable to wrap my mind around the ideology that greatness is quantifiable. I cannot perceive a reality where our class is defined by society's version of greatness. Our class has transcended beyond standards set for us and encompassed a greatness that is yet to be found in much of this world. Class of 2021, we are truly something special, and I believe that we will change the world. But before I elaborate any further, let me tell the story of the class of 2021 through both my eyes and my classmates. It is truly a unique story and I don't believe that this valedictory address would be complete without it. Freshman year began abruptly. Many of us were quickly thrown into the fast-paced realities of high school a month early. Through either a band camp, two days, or something of the sort, around one-third of our class enrolled in these programs unprepared for what was, to what was to come. Through the rigorous practice schedules and long hours, we quickly made friends and learned to grasp the most important traditions of Bandera High School. As the year progressed, we were introduced to new ideas in both extracurriculars and the classroom, broadening our social and academic horizons. We, again, were little freshmen, but this year served as an introduction for the reality which was yet to come and acted as a launching pad for our high school experience. Sophomore year, we thought we had the hang of things. We thought we knew what was going on. However, after receiving a new band director, a new athletic director, a new superintendent, and a new set of high school rules, we were very wrong. 
our world went from the uncomfortable reality of being freshmen to the unknown world of being a sophomore in a school that was rapidly changing. Furthermore, many friend groups and relationships began to change during this year, and the interpersonal relationships that each of us possessed began to evolve, becoming more mature with age like a fine wine. Yet, we were still underclassmen and we were still underage. We yet to reach high school maturity, if there is such a thing. We were still going through the motions that all high school classes go through. We were no different at this point than any other class that had passed through the doors of Bandera High School. We were just a group of crusty sophomores with still no idea of what high school was supposed to be. <laughs> Junior year, this all changed. We found ourselves familiar with the school we attended. We made varsity teams, carried on hallowed tradition, strengthened relationships, and acted as the cool upperclassmen that we had so admired in our previous years. We had achieved a level of success in athletics, academics, the arts, and other extracurricular activities, frankly, where other classes hadn't. Our class was successful by the standards mentioned earlier in the speech. Our class was successful by societal standards. We achieved greatness, and our community saw us as such we had become the most successful class in the recent history of Bandera High School. But things were soon to change. And as we all know, our junior year was cut short in a tragic fashion. The greatness we had worked so hard to achieve was overshadowed by the state of the world, and our schooling was sabotaged by a virus of malicious intent. In these few months, our class fell apart, and we forever lost our motivation to realize the societal greatness that we had previously held. We were no longer a class at Bandera High School. We were but a group of online students who had to adjust to distance learning and virtual assignments. In spite of all of this, our senior year started on time, albeit a little different than usual. Despite the countless quarantines and mass mandates, we managed to persist through to the end, winning district, regional, state, and national championships along the way. We did rediscover our societal greatness, but it was changed. It was now tainted by the legacy of a malicious virus and scarred by the trauma of a worldwide pandemic. We made it, but we didn't escape unscathed. At last, we had finished our high school career. Our greatness was quantified through the first three years of our high school career, and we came out on top. We were deemed successful by societal standards, and we wholly embodied the idea of societal greatness. Yet I still have trouble wrapping my mind around the idea that greatness is quantifiable. I cannot perceive a reality where the class of 2021 is defined by society's version of greatness. I believe we have come to embody true greatness, undefinable by numbers, statistics, or graphs. True greatness is found in service to others, through interpersonal relationships, charitable giving, or just being there for your fellow man. I have observed through the last four years of high school, and especially in this last year, that our class has formed many different interpersonal bonds and relationships with one another, the community, and the world as a whole. Through the trauma of a pandemic in which we were deprived of many of the standard staples of high school life, we have learned the value of relationships, service, devotion, and love. We have come to a better understanding of these virtues than any other class in the history of Bandera High School, and we have encountered so many things along the way. Although we did not wish for the circumstances that brought us to these appreciations, we are made unique because of them. I struggle to use the word blessed when describing our situation, but I truly believe we are blessed in the fact that we possess these such important qualities of appreciation. Class of 2021, as I begin to close this speech, I ask that you carry these appreciations into the next stages of your lives. I ask that you cherish the bonds that you have formed and the friendships that you have made in high school while simultaneously looking to your future with a joyous anticipation of the unknown. As I stated earlier, we are uniquely inclined to change the world. Many other classes have been deemed great through the standards of society, but we are great through the standards of humanity. We have been through trial, tribulation, and trauma but because of these, we have a special reverence for life that can be found nowhere else. Class of 2021, our class is like no other. We are uniquely inclined to change the world. We have transcended beyond societal greatness to inhabit a true greatness that we are only beginning to understand. Do not forget your worth. Do not forget your true greatness. Class of 2021, 
go forth in joy, be led by love, give in service, and live by devotion to your fellow man. Embody a greatness that cannot be bound by this world. Congratulations, and God bless you, class of 2021. It has truly been an honor. Thank you, Luke. At this time, I will read the list of honors that will be announced along with graduate names as they cross the stage. These honors include the top 10 students by GPA rank, summa cum laude, a weighted GPA of 5.0 or higher, magna cum laude, a weighted GPA between 4.5 and 4.9, and cum laude, a weighted GPA between 4.0 and 4.49, as well as National Honor Society membership. Moreover, speaking of honors, it is my pleasure to report to you that the graduating class of Bandera High School has earned collectively almost a half million dollars in college scholarships. Please give them a hand. <laughs> we are also pleased to announce that we have had nine of our seniors enlist in the United States Armed Services. So in the tradition of honoring our young people who have chosen to put on the uniform of the U.S. military, as well as all veterans, will every veteran, an active and reserve service member in the crowd, and every Bandera High School enlist enlistee please stand to be recognized. Thank you, veterans and future veterans. We are so proud of these students and their many accomplishments. So tonight, as these graduates cross the stage, please know that this final act of their high school career is a culmination of years of hard work. This community should be so impressed by the work ethic, resiliency, and unwavering perseverance of these young people, especially in the face of the adversity due to the impact of COVID-19 on their last two years of high school. I know I am impressed and I am so proud of the class of 2021. Therefore, the administration and faculty of Bandera High School do hereby certify that the qualifying members of the class of 2021 have completed all requirements for graduation as set forth by the state of Texas and the Bandera Independent School District. It is, it is a recommendation of the administration and faculty that the Board of Trustees of the Bandera Independent School District confer upon each qualifying student present a high school diploma with all of the rights, privileges, honors, responsibilities, and obligations that come with it. Ladies and gentlemen, and members of the board, I present to you the graduating class of 2021. <laughs> Mrs. Hicks, would you please come forward? Dr. Vogel, on behalf of the Bandera Independent School District Board of Trustees, I proudly accept your certification that the qualifying graduates of the class of 2021 have met the requirements of the state of Texas and that the Bandera Independent School, School District for graduation. Please confer to the qualifying graduates a Bandera High School diploma. Graduates, please come forward. Luke Timothy Mitsky, valedictorian, summa cum laude, National Honor Society. <laughs> Christian Anton McNeely, salutatorian, summa cum laude, National Honor Society.
Hallie Marie Rios, ranked number three, magna cum laude. Court Wallace Keenig, ranked number four, magna cum laude, National Honor Society. <laughs> Lucas Thomas Jackson, ranked number five, magna cum laude, National Honor Society. Ryan Patrick Zimmel, ranked number six, magna cum laude, National Honor Society. <laughs> Garrett Nicholas Meyer, ranked number seven, magna cum laude, National Honor Society. Joshua Charles Short, ranked number eight, magna cum laude, National Honor Society. Savannah Lee Foster, ranked number nine, magna cum laude. Kylie Madison Hensley, ranked number 10, magna cum laude, National Honor Society. <laughs> Havana Marie Aguirre. Jesse Matthew Anders. <laughs> Merlene Gutierrez Ariola, cum laude. <laughs> Michael Alfred. Baudry. <laughs> Riley Joseph Beckham. <laughs> Mason Craig Botterford. Liberty Lee Bomer. <laughs> Rainy Lynn Brown. <laughs> Devlin Ray Cadena, cum laude. Alexander Diartanian Wenzel Colbert. <laughs> Brock Andrew Cardenas, cum laude.
Jordan Lee Carillo, cum laude. Cammy Lynn Chesler. <laughs> Kelly Sean Columbia, Cum Laude National Honor Society. Logan Andrew Costin. <laughs> Bailey Cannon Cox, Cum Laude National Honor Society. Mary Jane Tondre Cummings. <laughs> Abigail Jean Denour. <laughs> Lauren Nicole Davila. William Jacob Day. Trace Patrick Decker. Daylin Diane Delano Dion. Ariana Nicole Dickerson, Cum Laude National Honor Society. <laughs> William Mace Donaldson V. <laughs> Ashton Tyler Dawes. Courtney Elizabeth Dowda. <laughs> Logan Bruno Dybowski, Cum Laude National Honor Society. <laughs> Rebecca Eleanor Ellingson, Summa Cum Laude, National Honor Society. <laughs> Josue Alejandro Enriquez. <laughs> Sean David Espinosa. Victoria Elida Fernandez. <laughs> Gavin Fogel. <laughs> Adam Autumn Foster.
Colleen Mary Gaitan. Lorelai Rose Garcia. <laughs> Kaylee Marie Gimbler, cum laude. Harvey Isaac Guerra Jr., cum laude, National Honor Society. <laughs> Maria Daisy Stephanie Gia. Maylin Nicole Haley. <laughs> Brooklyn Nicole Hall, magna cum laude, National Honor Society. Sarah Nicole Halsey. Gabriel Joseph Hilton, cum laude. Thomas Lane Hollingsworth, cum laude. <laughs> Haley Brooke Hoover. Byron Benjamin Hosford. <laughs> Justin Ray Houghton. Alexis Paige Isbell. <laughs> Alyssa Ray Isbell, cum laude. <laughs> Brecken Lynn Jackson. Dre Dell Johnson. Raymond Tanner Caples. Marlena Allison Kelly. Magna cum laude. <clears throat> Colby Stephen Aaron Kennedy. <clears throat> Samantha Michael Kennedy. Cum laude, National Honor Society. (laughs) 
Aiden Scott Lancet. Ethan Thurman Langton, cum laude. Madison Eileen Liao. Samuel Lee Liao. Ethan Michael Ledesma. Stephanie Ray Lutzinger, cum laude. Michelle Rose Linson. Colton Marshall Lobert. Elizabeth Sarah McNeil, cum laude, National Honor Society. <laughs> Charles David Allen Mader, cum laude. Christopher Mars. Brody Allen Martin. Alexandra Brianna Hermosillo Martinez. Celeste Alexis Martinez, cum laude, National Honor Society. Nathaniel Ryan Martinez. Seth Alan Matuski. Alex Mayhew. Robert John McCurdy. Cyrus Alessandro Mendez. Araya Antonia Mendiola, cum laude. JJ Mendoza. Caleb James Milroy. Ethan Christopher Molnar.
Michaela Renee Moore. Isaiah Allen Bradford Moreno. Natalie Renee Morgan. Logan Doster Nearing. Samuel Paul Nimrichter. Tamara Lene Parrish. Hayden William Paul. John Paul Plummer. Garrett Tyler Rabb. Michaela Renee Reed. Clarissa Celeste Reyes, magna cum laude. Samantha Reyna. Irving Elude Rodriguez, cum laude. Christopher Blaze Salazar. Logan Blake Schmidt. Kaylee Jordan Schrader, cum laude. Eric Christian Siebold. Brianna Renee Stimmel, cum laude. Trinity Nicole Sutter. Jessica, <laughs> Jessica Amber Taylor, cum laude. Christian Avery Teague. Tyler Wayne Tippett.
Alexis Cruz Tondre Cummings. <laughs> Kenneth Jameson Trevino. Leonardo Roman Trevino. Sydney Thomas Legion Gauthier Valdez. Thomas Andrew Valdez. Roberto Valle the fourth Asher Marie Vansel Tyson Matthew Waller Colton Wade White. Michael Lynn Wilson, Jr. Gunner Lane Winkler, magna cum laude, National Honor Society. Landon Ray Wyatt. Thank you, graduates. It is now my pleasure to introduce the second ranked student in our graduating class, our salutatorian, and United States Academic Decathlon National Champion, Christian McNelly. Hello, class of 2021. Before I begin my speech, I would like to sincerely thank all in attendance. Thank you teachers and administrators for working hard in an attempt to ensure a smooth transition between high school and further education or advancement into the workplace. Thank you parents and family members, present and gone, for always being behind and with us graduates. I know we need it. And of course, thank you fellow graduates for making the past four years worth remembering. Looking outward upon all of my fellow graduates, I see a group that I know will do incredible things in the future. I see a group of doctors, ministers, teachers, business professionals, and engineers. I look outward and am blinded by the prospect of our collective future, unfettered by the lack of size in our school or community, but instead emboldened by it. I look outward and see a group of young men and women who will become the change they desire to see in the world, rather than merely a group of bystanders. As we complete this ceremony and leave this stadium today, we are beginning a new chapter in our lives. Many of us are advancing into an unknown world, leaving behind familiar faces and scenery to begin the rest of our lives. However, this change should be welcomed as opportunity and the beginning of something greater. We have been well prepared. We are exiting this stadium with a diploma, an education, and a bright future ahead of us. But beyond this, while an excellent use of our time nonetheless, what is there to show for these past four years? There will come a day when friends from high school will be lost, 
Medals and trophies will be placed into boxes, and letterman jackets will be hung up for the last time. What will remain when we leave this place? We are left with our memories, good and bad, to be cherished and loved for as long as we can recall them. I plead with you, take care of your memories, for you cannot relive them. They are the diary we all carry about with us. If we so choose, each and every one of us will leave this place with an impenetrable vault of memories, not to fade or be forgotten, but to be shared with new friends and family we make in the future. Many of these memories will be shared amongst your peers, acting as fragments of ourselves, our personalities and mannerisms, to be cherished by those who can recall. At this point in the speech, I could easily begin reciting memories I have had in high school, memories I have shared with others, which only a few will likely have been a part of. But memories are a deeply personal thing, and each and every one of us has a different story to tell, a different set of memories which describe who we are and who we were, and a different group of people who we share our memories with. I encourage you to think of a memory, be it your fondest or otherwise, to recall. I have one. Close your eyes and envision that memory. Don't merely remember what you saw in that moment, but remember the sounds which filled your ears, the smells which surrounded you, perhaps a taste or a touch. Remember everything you can about that moment, the fleeting, transitory nature of it. Cherish it. This memory, and others like it, represent the mark you have made on the world more so than any medals, trophies, or letter jackets you have in your possession. Years from now, these memories will be looked back upon fondly, to be taken out of your vault and shared with the new friends and family you make. This is your legacy. A certain famed poet by the name of Oscar Wilde once said, to live is the rarest thing in the world. Most people exist, and that is all. Say what you will about our senior class, but I know that we have certainly done a whole lot of living. No matter what happens in our lives from this point forward, whatever the future may hold in store for us, I can say one thing with confidence. One thing which absolutely no one can take away from us. As we stare up into the blinding lights around us, sit here in silence and thundering applause, and make our way off this field and out of this parking lot for one final time as a student. In this moment, I swear, we are infinite. It is now my pleasure to introduce your class president, Lane Hollingsworth. Hello. For those of you who do not know me, I'm Lane Hollingsworth, the president of the class of 2021. First, I would like to thank the teachers who have given us their knowledge and passion, the administration for their steady and caring leadership, and any others who have helped us through the years. Personally, I would like to thank my family, specifically my mom and dad. Without any of you, this wouldn't have been possible. One deer season, when I was in sixth grade, my dad's good friend, Larry Bills, invited us out to Dublin, Texas for a deer hunt. At this point in my hunting career, I had yet to shoot a deer, and I distinctly remember how excited I was. Unfortunately, the morning of the hunt, we didn't see a deer. We took a break for lunch and came back that afternoon. My dad and I proceeded to fight off an army of yellow jackets that had nested in our blind. With a can of insect killer, we managed to kill the majority of them and make enough noise to spook any deer within a mile. <laughs> Despite this, I continued to try to call a deer in. For hours, we called and killed yellow jackets while desperately trying to keep quiet. And even though the odds were stacked against us, a nice buck showed up right before sunset, and I was able to shoot him. 
class of 2021, as we go out into the world, there are going to be yellow jackets. Deal with them as they come and keep calling. I urge you to not let the struggles of life keep you from pursuing your goals. Thank you to our class sponsors, the other members of the class council, specifically my running mate, Cord Koenig, who has been with me my entire presidency. Thank you to the 79.5% of y'all that voted for me. And to the other 20.5%, I wish you the best. <laughs> Thank you, class of 2021, for letting me be your president. And now join me in turning our tassels and going out to start the next chapter of our lives. Seniors, please rise. Grasp your tassel and follow me. Seniors of 2020, graduates of 2021, it is now my pleasure to introduce the esteemed Lucas Jackson. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Lucas Jackson, and I am ranked number five in the senior class. I will close our ceremony tonight. I think Lane was supposed to tell him to be seated. Y'all please be seated. Um, I don't know whose idea it was to let me up here after I've already graduated, and I'm surprised they even let me graduate after me, Lane, and Cord put the bulldog statue on Dr. Vogel's front porch at 1 a.m. <laughs> but here we are. As I look around today, I see all the same people I've been classmates with for the last 14 years. However, for the very first time, these people aren't my classmates. They're my fellow alumni. All the teachers, students, and especially parents present today shout out mom and dad, know what the class of 2021 has had to persevere. It has made every person sitting in front of me a better student over this final year and better men and women as we all head into our next endeavors. I also believe it has set up the class of 21 to be the most successful class to ever come out of Bandera High School. Having walked the halls with my fellow graduates for years, I know that among me sit the hardest workers and the brightest minds, which I'm certain will excel this group to the forefront of whatever path they choose. I'm convinced that in front of me sit future stars, successful businessmen and women, scientists bound for groundbreaking research, and fingers crossed, an engineer or two. And on behalf of the Bandera High School class of 2021, we would like to thank our teachers and everyone else who made this graduation possible. We will conclude our ceremony tonight with the playing of our alma mater. Graduates, please stand and raise your hand with me. So, so, my fellow graduates, remember, whatever it is you choose to pursue, everything begins with the first step. So together today, let's take the first step towards our successful lives by throwing our caps higher than any class before us ever has. Graduates, we made it. Good night, everyone. Thank you for coming. Please drive safely. Hook them.